What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am back in my kitchen because I thought I would film a little grocery haul for you guys. It's actually a huge grocery haul. I just ran to the store to finally do our like really big self-quarantine haul. Uh, we've been to the store, well Kale's been to the store maybe once since all of this coronavirus stuff has started, but we just didn't feel like we had enough here and we really wanted to get as much as we possibly could into our apartment before things, I mean things are already really serious, but before we just really really leaving the apartment was just not an option so i ran there um hoping that there wouldn't be a lot of people at the time i went and luckily there weren't a lot of people there i didn't get too close to anyone i didn't have to really come into contact with anyone i did self-checkout it was all super easy and luckily most stuff was there a lot of stuff that wasn't there when kill previously went was there so when Kelb went, he stocked up on beans and rice, and um, that's pretty much it. We have a ton of beans and quite a bit of rice, but other than that, we didn't really feel like we had a lot. So, yeah, I got as much as I could. I also decided to get quite a few fun things because I was like, you know what? If we're going to be stuck in the apartment, we might as well have some fun foods. So, this is just a huge haul of things that will hopefully last us for as long as humanly possible. I also have a Thrive Market order that I'll probably unbox for you guys that has more staples in it. We ordered that maybe two weeks ago when things were like first hitting the US when we were like maybe we should just order a few things so yeah we have that and then hopefully this is our last haul I don't want to leave the apartment again because it's obviously not safe it's not good for anyone it's not helping anybody so anyway I'm babbling let's just get into the grocery haul so our grocery store we shop at Wegmans has some kind of limitations on some things right now so you can only buy two of a lot of stuff which one of which being frozen vegetables. So I got two bags of frozen veggies, these family size bags, they're freaking huge. So I got one of broccoli and one of green beans. I don't really like green beans, but Hill does. And I figured it'd be better to have variation instead of having two giant bags of broccoli and just eating a ton of broccoli all the time. I also got two bags of these sourdough hard pretzels. These are just good to have for like a snack, you know, sometimes you just need something crunchy to snack on. I got a bag of avocados. I got some really hard ones because I have one or two ripe ones right now so I figured it would be good to get a bag of not ripe ones so I can eat them you know in the future without them going bad. I got Caleb some flour tortillas because we have so many beans and rice that we'll probably want to switch it up and do like burritos or tacos or something at some point. I got a ton of ramen noodles. I talked about these in my last grocery haul. These are just like a healthier vegan version of ramen so I got a bunch of these. I also got two bags of brown rice pasta. We bought a ton of these actually. Caleb got a bunch of these when he went to the store the other day. We have one, two, three, four, five of these actually in our cupboard, but you can never go wrong with pasta. Pasta is like the best staple ever. And we got a bunch of tomato sauce and stuff, I think in our Thrive Market order, maybe not, but I think we have some in the, the cupboard either way. So pasta is always good to have. You can make like mac and cheese sauce out of potatoes. We have a bunch of potatoes or I don't know oil or whatever if it really comes down to it but pasta is a really good staple to have i also got two bags of gala apples this is another thing that was limited to two bags which normally we'd only get one but uh apples are just like a really good snack and a good thing to have kill loves apples so i got two of those i got a big bag of baby carrots we just don't have any produce around right now and i really want <laughs> to be able to not eat like terribly during this if humanly possible to have some healthy options so i got a big bag of baby carrots and I also got two things of this organic oil-free hummus. So this would be a really good snack to have. And we have got rice cakes and stuff around. So, and like organic corn tortilla chips, stuff like that. So I wanted to get these because I've definitely been like in snacking moods lately. Like breastfeeding just makes me hungry all the time. So I wanted to have stuff around that I can kind of pick at and not feel gross about eating. I got peppercorns because we were running low on pepper and pepper is one of my favorite spices so I didn't run one out of that. I got this big thing of strawberries. Normally I wouldn't buy strawberries in like the winter springtime but these were on sale and they actually looked really good so I got those and I got those to go with this granola. This is uh, Go Raw Sprouted Granola. It's really really good. I love this brand so I got it to go with this and this new brand of vegan yogurt. It's probiotic oat milk yogurt. I have never heard of this before. It's from the brand Nancy's. The ingredients are really good. It's just oat milk, fava bean protein, tapioca flour, coconut oil, agar, and citric acid. And then live non-dairy yogurt cultures. So I was really excited to try this and I love, if you guys have been following me for a while and watching my what I eat in a days, you know that I love granola and vegan yogurt and strawberries. So I just felt like I wanted to have some happy foods in the apartment. So I got those three things to have for like breakfast and lunch and stuff. Got some after dry yeast. Caleb's been really into making bread the past few months. So we got this because the bread aisle was just completely empty. There's no bread anywhere to be found. There's also no like cans of anything, like no canned soups, no 
cans like literally anything no nut butters i really wanted to get some almond butter and some cashew butter but they didn't have any so luckily we have some almonds and cashews in the cupboard so i'll try to make my own but yeah this is just i got off on a tangent but we got some yeast so kale can make some bread i got two things of these siete almond flour tortillas these are my absolute favorite and like i said earlier with having a bunch of beans and rice we're gonna want to switch things up a little bit so i got some of these i love eating literally anything in these they are like my favorite thing ever i wish they weren't so expensive because i'd buy them more often i also decided to get these turmeric coconut wraps i saw these on thrive the other day and i should have gotten them but i didn't but they look so good they're literally just made with coconut meat coconut water and coconut oil and these are the turmeric ones so they have turmeric in them too but i just feel like wraps make whatever you're eating feel so much more satisfying so i feel like one of these with like some chickpeas and some lettuce and like dijon mustard or something just in it would be a super easy snack or a meal for lunch or whatever so i really wanted to try these i've been wanting to try them for a while so i decided to just do it i also got five things of tofu kelvin i love tofu but last time the last few times we've gone to the store they've been totally out and they finally had some so i'm not gonna show you all five but we did get five they were all out of tempeh which is a bummer because we love tempeh but i just decided to go a little crazy with the tofu and then the last thing that i got are these two honest sand dips so i freaking love this brand but i never buy it because it's too expensive but it's so healthy and so yummy this is the cheddar style and this is the smoked cheddar style let me just read you the ingredients. The cheddar style dip is water, potatoes, cashews, carrots, onions, vinegar, sea salt, and garlic powder. And that's it. So super, super healthy and so yummy. Definitely expensive, but you get what you pay for. Less ingredients, better for you. It's always more expensive, but I love these and I just really wanted to get them. So I did. And I'll also use those with the baby carrots or like cor or the rice cakes or whatever. So that'll be really good. And then I also got two things of sparkling water, which are over here. Let me just... Calvin, I really love the sparkling water from Wegmans, the flavors that we normally get. There's like 15 or 20 flavors, and all of the flavors that we normally get are gone. The only two flavors that were there are the two that I'm not even sure I've tried them or like them, but I got them anyway because we really, really love it. So they look like this. This is the mandarin orange flavor, and then there's also a peach flavor. So I got two of those, and... That is everything that i got like i said we are already stocked up on beans and rice uh, we have some oatmeal but oatmeal was out at the store no oatmeal no nut butters um, but we have plenty of nuts and seeds we have um we have some bananas we've got kale there's just like a lot of stuff we didn't want to get a ton of produce because we wouldn't be able to eat it as quick as it would go bad and it didn't want to waste money but i'm glad that we were able to get some frozen veggies i wish that we could have gotten like frozen kale and stuff like that but with the two bag limit we had to pick and choose and yeah i guess that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you're able to stock up on the things that you need while you're self-quarantining i know it's really stressful and really scary and i hope that everyone is able to get their hands on what they want what they need and just things that will help keep them happy and satisfied while they're stuck in their house so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and don't forget to hit the bell notification button so you never miss a video i post every monday wednesday and saturday so thank you so much for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one bye